morning and good afternoon and good evening everybody well actually it is afternoon but i didn't cover all my bases there but anyways guys this is organic dairyman welcome back to my channel today um it is a kind of a very beautiful but uh windy sort of day and yeah so um i hope your guys stay has been going good so far. Mine has been going pretty good so far. Um, this morning, as you saw, I went to church. Didn't go last night. And um, yeah, and I am just getting ready to do the feeding chores. And today, hopefully, is gonna be the day that my feet smell like manure. I walked through some manure, a little bit of manure there. Um, but anyways, yeah, today is gonna be the day, hopefully, we are gonna combine some corn, some high moisture corn. Um, if you watched, follow along in the last video. Um, we are finishing getting the uh, combine ready. And uh, we are waiting for the roller mill to get the guy that was using to be done. He got done with it last night. So actually I do have a few things left to do on the combine. I just gotta get a pin in there that holds the head in and I gotta adjust couple gathering chains and they are talking rain maybe sometime late this afternoon early this evening or this evening so uh, we'll see what happens with regards to that but we just got about four acres of corn high moisture corn here to combine and then we got a 70 some acre well we got another 20 acres of high moisture corn to combine another field corn that qualifies for high moisture corn the rest of the field which is 50 acres that doesn't qualify for it. So that's what we're shooting for today is at least get combine here, the four acres which we should get done. My brother, he has to go and get the roller mill. It's down by Brookings, South Dakota. To, and, uh, he has to go to the other farmer's farm to go get it. And so I'm gonna keep working here at the feeding chore and we're gonna see, hopefully, you know, it looks like the rain's gonna come. I'm gonna go up and start combining corn. I'm gonna forget about adjusting those chains and just Go and cow in the corn. That's four acres. Get her done. So stick along or sit say stick around guys, don't go anywhere. We got a lot of things happening here today and the next day, because usually I do two-day videos. Sometimes I do three, but so just please stick around, watch the video to the end. And also hit the like button too. Okay, let me get that, let me shut that off. Okay. I just put the, got done putting the haylage for the milk cows on the feeder wagon. And so now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna go and adjust, need to adjust a couple of the gathering chains on the combat head. They just need to be tightened up just a little bit. And I gotta get that one pin, but I gotta grab something else here. Yeah, three quarter. Let me do a three quarter wrench. Try that. So I'll go get that. Uh, I'll get that gathering chain. Those two gathering chains tighten up, and then I'll probably be probably meet you guys out in the field. I'll try to get this thing. Make sure we get everything um, adjusted properly. Get the. Uh, yeah, everything. Just made sure I have not run the head. I've run the combine, and that works. But I have to run the corn head. Just to make sure everything is working correctly on here, and then we'll get everything. Make sure it's uh, get her out the field, and make sure it's combining correctly. Spitting all corn out the back. It's just getting all the cobs cleaned up. Do all that stuff.
before I go out to the field, I probably better start the combine up and start the head up, make sure everything is just working correctly because I don't want to get out to the field and have to come all the way back home. So let's try the head. Uh, as far as I can see, all the row units are working. So I'm going to head out to the field and uh, make the final adjustments out there. field here it's not a very big field just a ball field but uh, it's something anyways and I think the coons are gonna be kind of unhappy when I combine this because uh, the raccoons have been in this field doing their thing and, uh, and that's our soybean field our weedy soybean field <laughs> our replant we had to replant it that thing Okay, well, we'll try it and see what happens if it don't back into this fence. Looks like I'm going to have to close something down in there. I'm going to have to close the uh, chaffer down in there a little bit and get some cob in there. So, But that's why we do it. I better get out and check out here in the ground and see what it looks like. And that's why we do these little short little runs. We've got some kernels on the ground here. So obviously we got some shattering going on in the head here. We'll have to look at that. And we got some of this coming out the back end. We're gonna have to close down, close down the concaves a little bit more. This stuff is probably pretty wet. I don't see too much. There's some more cob. It looks like it's getting most of it. But these, this corn up here, got some nice looking ears on it. Holy smokes. Look at that ear. Yeah, and this field here is corn on corn too, so well, this little field up here, it might yield pretty good. I better make those necessary adjustments to the combine here and then keep moving. Well, I just got done checking the moisture in the corn. It's about, I would say about 22 and a half percent moisture, but it's still wet corn, but it's dried down from 
I don't know, like five, five days ago or something when it was 24. So it's time to get out. So, so I made the necessary adjustments to the combine. So I guess I gotta do one more adjustment, yep. Better do that before I forget. I gotta get the car case closed in. And we better get going. Well, I got a big tree here. This tree fell down the spring about, I don't know, like a couple weeks after we planted in here. And we should have gotten up here and gotten it out, but we didn't. So that big tree is still sitting here. So when we get done combining this, we're gonna have to cut that tree up and get it out of here. Dang it. I think we're gonna miss it looks like it's all moving off to the east over there or to Minnesota so uh, I think I'm just gonna go uh, run home and uh, go get a gravity box and bring it up here instead of driving the combine back it's kind of hard on it there's heavy stuff on here so go that way pickup truck and drive up there and get the combine that's still up by the field I'm gonna take and drive the combine in the shed there now, apparently my brother he's still not back with the roller mill yet so don't worry you guys if you're wondering what it is you'll see what it is what it does I do have a video on it last year way back when we did high moisture corn last year but it just kind of rolls the corn chews it up a little bit so it's more digestible for the cows so, that's what I'm gonna do, run up to the yard with the feeder wagon, then go hop in my pickup and, you know.
Okay. Well, my brother got home just in time to actually ride along the pickup truck, and so he brought my pickup truck back home. So I don't, I didn't have to leave it up in the field, so that worked out nice. But anyways, we got some. That's how much. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's how much. And we got about just about a half a hopper, just maybe a little bit more than that. But you know, yeah, this was what some of the ears looked like. They all didn't look like this. There were some that were small and scrawny, but. I don't know. As something that kind of annoys me in the combine here. It seemed like it was like, you know, I adjusted everything in the combine. I slowed the fan speed down, make sure the chaff and everything was open correctly. But there was still some corn that I noticed behind the combine. But then I traced it down, got down, and I traced it down underneath the combine. It goes right underneath. Well, you can, I don't know if you can see that. It goes right underneath the middle of the corn head. That's where I traced it to. So I don't know. If there's some little hole. It's getting out of in the head or if it's just butt shelling a lot in one spot but it's a little bit more than I think there should be but I know there's supposed to be acceptable level of corn on the ground but you know to me it seems like a little bit more than it should be but I'll have to get out and investigate anyway I gotta go eat something and then we gotta get going with chores and then I got I think I gotta put the flex head in I don't know if it's gonna rain or not tonight I don't know Hey, good morning everybody. It's a brand new day. Today is Monday, October 12th. And I guess today is my birthday. At least I've been trying to forget that it is my birthday. Yeah, it's I turned the big 4-0 today. So, yep, the big 4-0 already. Man, how time flies. <laughs> but anyways, guys, here is the roller mill my brother got yesterday. And that's what it looks like. But we got to get hooked up to the bagger, and we'll show you the, show you that later, what that looks like. But um, yep, that's what it looks like. So um, and anyways, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing here today is getting that going and going hopefully and combine some corn. So we'll we'll see how it, what we get done here today and how it goes. We got to get the combine moved over to the field, and but first we got to do some chores, and then we'll get going with that stuff. Stuff is almost ready to bail. It could be bail. Nice and crunchy, maybe. Yeah, pretty close. Oh, anyways, I just thought to uh, give you guys an update on this hay here. I haven't uh, updated you on that. But I think that stuff would actually go. But we'll have to rake it. We'll have to rake it together early. Either tonight when a dew comes on or early in the morning and get it bailed. But yeah, it, it is ready. I think this field is ready to go. At least in that spot, I didn't drive around out there and check. But if all the hay is like that, I think it would be ready to go. But anyways, there's the hay update. Um, um, I'm not for sure you know, if we're just going to try to bail it ourselves. I know we could. I just talked to my brother about it. You know, maybe we'll just hire somebody to come do it. We'll see here what we're gonna decide what we're gonna do here. But I gotta keep working on the feeding because I gotta get that combine going here. Get those last little adjustments made in that so we can take it over to the field. But yeah, gotta get the feeding done first. Or some of it anyways.
Okay, uh, we just got done as you saw doing that roller mill. We got that hooked up. That was a little bit of a pain, a little pain in the rear to get that thing hooked up. We got it hooked up. And had some people stop in before. We, well, the Siemens salesman, he was here. And then somebody from the uh, this dairy magazine, they stopped in here. And they were doing some day in a far life of a farmer. So some pictures. It's a that Dairy Star magazine. They stopped in here. And they're headquartered in Sox. They're out of Sox, Sox Center, Minnesota. They kind of cover... I don't know, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and a little bit of Wisconsin, so. Yeah, so if you see our farm in that paper, <laughs> that's what the deal is. But anyways, back to the combine here. Um, I was looking at this this morning, trying to figure out why this corn, <sighs> why I was losing some corn, and I think it's just shelling out. I don't know. I think it's some corn flying out off the front of the combine and going out that way. I think that's what it is, but I don't know for sure yet. It very well could be what it is. There's more kernels of corn laying there in the middle. If that's the case, I don't know what else I could do about it. But the biggest thing is here yesterday, the biggest thing yesterday is we had trouble too with um, the cob that we're using, or the cob that we're using, the corn that we're combining, it's its kind of a white cob corn. It just seems like when it's high moisture, it doesn't want to get it. It doesn't want to get all the kernels sometimes. Sometimes it's cob, it breaks off easy. It smashes and then it doesn't want to come out. When it gets like this diameter, it's got kernels in. It's not going to shell it, but in the back of this combine here, there's this beater back here. And this is supposed to help get it out. And I'm going to set that beater up. I'm, or that grate, there's a grate there. I'm gonna set that up to decrease the clearance between there and see if that helps. So, anyways, that's some of the things we got going on. And my brother, he's gonna take some gravity boxes over to the field over there. So, we'll see if we get over there. He's heading over there. He's gonna take now with the track, he's gonna take it with the pickup. But, anyways, so. Anyways, I better stop yakking and get busy here and get these adjustments made. And We'll see, hopefully we get the combine over there yet tonight. We'll see, it just all this other stuff, it just, it just takes time, a lot of time. Okay, I got that uh, great all adjusted up as high as it will go so the clearance between the beater and that or is it's as small as it's going to get and obviously you saw me run it so and I did and I just wanted to make sure that there was no corn somehow leaking out oh there's some corn leaking out there hmm where is that coming from? Is that coming out of... I'm trying to figure out where that came from. I thought maybe it was leaking out here. There's a little bit that dropped out here. And I think that came from what is, is, is threw some stuff out. So, hmm. I gotta, uh, I gotta figure out where that came from. I don't know if it leaked out of that door. It might be coming out that door. I'm going to have to somehow trip that door. Yeah, it must be coming out of here. Ah. Yeah, that's where it's coming out of. That straw is binding in there. Okay. I still think some of it is coming from up here. From the augers or whipping some of it out a little bit, but... That would be, that would probably be the biggest source of my corn though. So I'm going to see if I could trip that stone, that cover there and 
and get that straw cleaned out of there. And uh, then, oh, I gotta get this head off. Then I gotta go on the machine shed, get the flex head back out, get that off, and get this on the trailer. Yeah. I know for I hope we can make it over there yet today. If we don't, we don't. At least tomorrow we'll have everything ready to go. this corn head off oh everything just takes time we we're trying to get a stupid shear a shear bolt out of that uh, roller mill PTO shaft and boy was that a bugger so anyways yeah so we're well, gonna I'm just ready to drop this head here the corn head and then maybe we'll get the flex head out yet tonight here now but it'll be tomorrow when we get over there to the other field <laughs> not tonight it's already after eight o'clock so ain't gonna happen Okay, everybody this is it for the video yes it's the end of the day it's been a very long day and uh, yeah and I'm a year older too 
Anyways, uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna be doing some combining. We still, we gotta get everything moved over to that other field that's 12 miles away. So hopefully everything goes good tomorrow. So anyways, I'm tired guys. And so I'm, I need to get to bed. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And uh, please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, harvest for us is just beginning. I know a lot of the grain farmers, they've been going steadily for a while now, but they don't have cows and milk. They didn't have to chop corn silage. So, but we're getting there one day at a time and we'll, we'll get her done. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.